Hello friends, today in this video I am going to explain about uh, one of the deletion processes of uh, in the case of AVL search tree. We have dealt with uh, some other cases of deletion in our previous videos but in this video I am going to explain another, division, another deletion method in which uh, we will apply a rotation which is called the R-1 rotation. So R-1 rotation is a bit different from the other two rotations which we have described uh, in the previous videos that is R0 rotation and R1 rotation. They are quite similar to each other but uh, the process of R-1 rotation is a bit different from those two. So uh, leaving aside those we are now going ahead with the description or the explanation of the R-1 rotation which is to be applied in this specific example which I am going to uh, draw on the board uh, in a bit and show you with the help of that example how we will uh, we'll be apply uh, how we will apply that uh, R-1 rotation uh, in the case of deletion which we are going to perform in this example. So let us get started by writing the by drawing the figure on the board uh, of the avial search tree on the board and uh, uh, performing the deletion process followed by the uh, rotation which needs to be performed in this case. So uh, let me draw uh, an avial search tree like this. Suppose an avial search tree is like this. So, this is 44, this is 22, this is 18, this is 28, this is 23, this is 29, now the two are 48 and 52 respectively. So, these are, uh, th this is an avial search tree which is uh, drawn on the board. Let me just see whether it is an avial search tree because uh, we need to determine the balance factors of each of the nodes of this uh, avial search tree. But since it is a question, it is, uh, it can be easily as assumed to be an avial search tree, but we will just verify it and uh, confirm it uh, by, uh, by examining or calculating the balance factors of each of the nodes. So let us get started with uh, calculating the balance factors. So since this is a leaf node, it has a balance factor of 0, it has a balance factor of 0. This is also a leaf node, balance factor 0, balance factor 0. This uh, has a balance factor of 1 minus 1 that is 0. This has a balance factor of 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. This has a balance factor of uh, 0 minus 1 means minus 1. And this has a balance factor of 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 minus 2 bins, it has a balance factor of 1. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, we have to perform the deletion in a way so as to apply the R minus 1 rotation in this case because I am going to uh, focus on the R minus 1 rotation in this example. So, we are going to delete, uh, suppose we are going to delete this node. We are going to delete this node because it will be a right deletion and since this will be considered as, as the B, B node, uh, it has a balance factor of minus 1, then the rotation can be easily uh, thought to be as R minus 1 rotation. So, we will just delete this 52, try and delete this 52 and see what happens uh, next. So, suppose we delete this 52. Delete. 52. So, if we delete 52, the tree becomes like this. The tree becomes like this. This is 23, this is 28, this is 29, this is 18, this is 22, this is 44, I think, yes, 44, this is 48, and this one. And this one was 52 but not here but I will, I will just uh, draw it in a dotted representation so that we will assume that it is now here but it is not here at all because it has been already deleted in this process. So it will not here not be here but we will just give a dotted representation to think of the fact that uh, if it would have been there what would have uh, been the uh, cases. So suppose 52 is over here. So, 
assuming 52 over here so we have deleted 52 and see uh, let me let me first uh, also let me first also find the balance factors first 0 0 0 0 this is 1 minus 2 this is minus 1 this is 0 because it has no left and right subtrace so 0 it is a leaf node now and this 44 has uh, a balance factor of 3 minus 1 that is 2. So we see that all the balance factors are conforming to the permissible values of an AVL such tree but uh, apart from this node except this node which has a balance factor of 2 which is beyond the permissible range of values. So now we will start our backtracking procedure by backtracking from the node where it is uh, deleted with the node which is deleted rather. So we will start from this position 52 is the node which has been deleted in this position is it is not present in this position let me remind you uh, once again that this is not here 52 is not here but we will assume 52 to be here and see that where this 52 has been deleted. So 52 has been deleted from here we will go on backtracking to the root and see uh, first uh, and see if we encounter any node in the journey towards the root uh, where we encounter a value which is different from the expected value of balance factor for an avial search tree. So if we go to this node from here we see that 0 it is well and good the balance factor is well and good we go to here and see the balance factor is 2. So we see that this balance factor is 2 which is violating the uh, permissible range of values. So this should be called as this should be uh, taken as node A and with respect to node A we are saying that the deleted node has been deleted from the right subtree of node A. So it will be a case which is to be performed, uh, it will be a case of rotation which is to be performed uh, which, uh, uh, which needs to be uh, right rotation. That uh, rotation which needs to be performed in this example is a right rotation because we have been, uh, we have deleted this 52 from the right subtree or with respect to this node A. So it will be a right rotation, so we will write R for that and C. For right rotation we will see the left child of A, the left child of A is B and B has a balance factor of minus 1. So the rotation will be easily thought to be R minus 1. The rotation is R minus 1 rotation which is to be uh, performed in this case in order to restore the balance of the avial search tree. So this uh, minus 1 gives you the name my, uh, minus 1 over here and this right part of the deletion has taken place, place from the right subtree gives you the name R. So R minus 1 comes from these two cases. So in this case what is the rotation to be performed? The rotation is R minus 1 and R minus 1 rotation warrants uh, to do the rotation in a manner which is a bit different from the other two rotations which have been described earlier in the previous videos. So this B if we take this to be B we will take the right child of B the right child of B to be a node which is to be taken as C. So this will be A the left child will be left child of A will be B and the right child of B will be C. So this C is now to be promoted as the root node. So this C is to be promoted in the top position as the root node of the T tree. So after performing the rotation, after performing the rotation, suppose I am performing the R minus 1 rotation and what will what will follow the follow the R minus 1 rotation, what, what, what figure will follow, I am going to write this over here and show you what has happened uh, in this R minus 1 rotation. So this for 28 will move upwards and occupy the root position and this 28 is now over here. This 22 will be linked to 28 in the way as 22 is linked with 44. So 22 will be linked in this way. So 22 has a left child in 18. <coughs> Excuse me once again. So this 18 will be the left child of 22 as, as was uh, there in the previous case. And we will see that this 44, this 44 will be linked as the right child to this 28. So this C goes to this position, this 44 goes to the right child of 28. So 44 will be linked to this 28 as a right child. 
So 44 has a right child in 48. So that will 48 will remain as it is. Uh, the remain linked in the way as it is linked in this case. So 44 right child is 48. Now we see that left child of 28 in this figure was 23 and right child was 29. So the left right, left subtree of 28 starts from left subtree of C rather starts from 23. If there was any other for the nodes, the left subtree would have started from 23 and the right subtree would have started from 29. So here there are no further uh, nodes in this case. 23 is the only uh, solitary node uh, on, on the li left subtree of, of C and 29 is the only solitary node in the right subtree of C. So this left subtree, the entire left subtree is to be accommodated in a manner so as to make it uh, make it go towards the left subtree of 28 because 28 has now been linked to 22 in the process of this R minus 1 rotation and it cannot be directly linked to 23. So this 23 since this 23 was a part of the left subtree this 23 is to be accommodated somewhere on the left subtree of 28 and thus we can only do that by means of linking this 23 as a right child of 22. And this 29 likewise will be uh, accommodated on the right subtree of 28 and cannot be linked as the direct child, the direct right child of 28 as the direct right child of 44, uh, 28 has become 44 by bins uh, by the way of this R minus 1 rotation in the course of the R minus 1 rotation. And that's why this 29 is to be accommodated in such a way so as to place it on the right subtree of 28 and that can be only done by linking this 29 to uh, 44 as its immediate right child. So this 29 will be linked in this way to 44. And after this, uh, we have made the necessary uh, operation, we have performed the necessary operation and uh, now it, uh, it needs a recalculation of the uh, balance factors yet again. The balance factors of all the leaf nodes will be 0 as expected. So these are all zeros. Balance factor of this node 22 is 1 minus 1 that is also 0. The balance factor of this node is 0, 1 minus 1, 0. And the balance factor of this node 28 is 2 minus 2 that is 0. So we see that all the balance factors in, uh, uh, in every node of this, uh, uh, of this uh, representation is 0 and which lies within the permissible range of values or values of balance factors in an AVL tree. So we have restored the balance and we have retained the characteristic of the AVL tree by performing the R minus 1 rotation and R minus 1 rotation required the rotation to be performed in this manner where this should be considered as A, this should be B and the right child of B should be C and C should be promoted to 44, promoted to A rather, promoted to the position of the root node and this C should be promoted to the position of the root node and this 44 will be going towards the right side of, uh, of C and 22 will be linked that is B will be linked to the C uh, as a left child. So this is the way we have performed the rotation and if you have any doubts and queries pertaining to this entire example and entire explanation you can well post your doubts and queries in the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching this video.